Hey guys, welcome back to Clarity Chart Analysis. And in this video, I will be using market structure to tell us our current position of flow on the price market chart, and also using market structure to predict the next possible move of flow. But first, guys, if you're new to this channel and you want to make money on both directions of the market, you want to know our current position on the price market chart, this channel is for you. Please subscribe, like, and put on the notification to be notified anytime I drop a new video. So guys, on our daily time frame, which is our major structure, the most recent break of structure we saw was a break of structure to the downside. And guys, we're expecting a pullback. For us to be on the pullback phase, guys, we need price to take out this swing. We needed price to take out this swing that give us this lower low. And guys, we've seen price to traded above it on our daily time frame. So guys, we are back to a pullback phase. But guys, we've seen price come back and take out this swing that give us this iii so guys do you think we are back to an impulsive phase which is a bearish trend let's go back to a four hour time frame let's go see what price is doing on our four hour time frame but knowing fully well that for us to see a pullback phase on our lower time frame we're expecting to see series of iii and ilo which is an uptrend on our four hour time frame and guys currently now price is trading between this upper swing and this lower swing of our for our of our daily time frame so guys back to our four hour time frame what do we notice we notice that it was this swing that gave us this lower low of same price giving us series of iri and expecting a pullback we saw price just broke structure back to the downside so guys are we now back to a bearish trend but guys notice something that price did not close below it so this can just be a sweep of liquidity so guys currently now on our far time frame we're trading between this upswing and this downswing of our four hour time frame this is just a sweep of liquidity until we see price close below it before we're going to take that as a break of structure but if price is not closing below it then we should not be surprised that we'll continue seeing price break more structure to the upside so guys currently now our daily time frame is bearish but our four hour time frame is still bullish until we see otherwise that price is closing below this so guys for us to be on a pullback phase on our far time frame we actually need price to take out the swing that gave us this low low if price is not taking out this swing then we should not be surprised that we'll continue seeing more break of structure to the downside so guys let's go back to a one hour time frame let's go see what price is doing on our one hour time frame so guys coming back to our one hour time frame what do we notice we notice that after we saw the break of structure to the downside after we saw break of structure to the upside on our four hour time frame, we expected a pullback. We've seen price pulling back. That shows on a pullback phase on our one hour time frame. And guys, continuously price has been giving us a bearish trend, which shows that we are still on a pullback phase. But guys, on our one hour time frame now, for us to be on a pullback phase, we need price to take out this swing. So guys, if we should see price take out this swing, that shows price is pulling back on our one hour time frame. And if we should not see price take out this swing here, that shows we are ready to be on a pullback phase of our, we are ready to be on an impulsive phase of our four hour time frame. Likewise, if we should not see price take out this swing, remember that this upper swing of our four hour time frame and our daily time frame it's the same thing with our four daily time frame so if we should see price take out this upper swing that shows our four hour time frame is back to a bullish trend our daily time frame is also back to a bullish trend that shows we are now fully back to a bullish trend so guys let's trade carefully let's not lose our added money back to market trading in the wrong direction clarity chart analysis is here to give updates on market structure but guys for you not to miss out please subscribe like and put on the notification to be notified anytime i drop a new video Thank you guys for watching this video.